to the Wheelchair Gamer Show, and today we are going to talk about how to set up stream labels and stream labs. So, first things first, we want to go to stream labs, which you get there by going to streamlabs.com, and you'll connect your Twitch account with this. Um, once logged in, you'll get all sorts of cool things, like it'll show you like your follow count, latest donation totals, etc. As you can see, I got nothing. Uh, you feel free, feel free to want if you if you want to change that. I mean, that's fine. So, anyways, go to uh, the alert box. So this is for your alert box. So, like when someone brings a follow, you can set a custom picture and a custom sound. Um, the way you do the picture is you click on this right here, that little picture, and you can select something from your computer or you can select from their stock stuff. Same thing with the music. You click on this, you search through the music that you have on your computer, etc. Do what you want. You know, same thing with this. You can change the picture on every one of these. And the most important thing is going to be this widget URL. So you're going to click here, you're going to get a URL. Okay, so where do you put that URL? That might be the next question. So what you need to do is you need to actually go to well we're not we're not gonna watch this video but we're gonna actually go to the plugin here and from the plugin you go ahead you download the latest version of this make sure you extract it to where you have OBS studio installed um, okay so you got that so now you're going to go back to OBS here and you're going to have the browser source so browser source is going to pop up and it's going to have a URL here you're going to put you're going to copy and paste so in this case like you're going to copy and paste that URL is going to go there that you got from the widget which was over here which you click to get the URL same thing for for donation goals if you want one of these bars like I have you click on here and you put it in that OBS um, studio uh, browser source. Uh, browser source is going to be the new thing that gets added with that with that file that you downloaded there, um, which is right over here, the plugin. I'll give a link to that URL there so you can install that. So there's that. Then there's stream labels, which for stream labels you're going to install an app, and the app is going to open up like this. You're actually going to set the output directory. Um, I suggest making a file called OBS, or I would make stream labels, uh, stream, make a stream labels folder. You press OK, and now what you're going to do back in OBS is to get this name, like I have it. You're going to create a text G GDI um, source, which you just click that, and then when you go in there, you're going to want to make sure you select read from file you're going to click that and then you're actually going to be able to browse to all these different things so you know as you can see it, it puts all these things in here when you do that download most recent followers or session most recent follower is what I've been using and I have that selected you press OK and then what it's going to do is anytime that this app is open and a new person follows you that text will change there so that's pretty much all that you need to know to set this up guys also one other thing the chat box let's go ahead and go over this you can set your chat box like for instance I have it set to old school in my case um, and then same thing so you would do the same process you do the browser source and then you add that URL and then you can simply place that wherever you want on the screen so like the chat box pop in um, you can actually play with some of the other settings in here like how long things stay up for example like if these things you know see so it's a you can select either always show message you can hide it after like you know I have 85 seconds or you don't have to ha I have it you can just hit go always show messages so you see the most recent messages and it'll scroll down as things progress so anyways guys, I wasn't trying to go on too long in this video, but I wanted to give you a basic overview of what you need to do to set up a good stream for stream labels and just make sure that you're good to go. So anyways guys, I hope that you liked this video, I hope that it was helpful, and please guys, as always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment.
anyways, guys, I love you, and I will talk to you later.